watching some cricket as Snater comes in and bowls. And that's a hit over the top of mid-wicket by Vince. And that is one bounce for four. It's easy to hit straight. Some bowls. No, it doesn't. He He's picks safe. that one up well, Ben McDermott, and deposits that over mid-wicket. Six runs. That's right. Yeah, there's definitely a length here, isn't there, to bowl. Alison comes in again and bowls short and helped along the leg side. This will be four more. One bounce. Really going down to third man, if I'm honest, is Alison Bowles. And pulled away by McDermott. And there's a fielder out there. He's caught. Back on a square leg. Just helped away on the leg side by McDermott. It was always catchable height as he took the catch in his midriff and pouch it nice and comfortably. So Essex are on the board and, well, I think probably McDermott's, McDermott's eyes lit up and thought, well, there's another one I can put away. And unfortunately, didn't bisect his snater <laughs> in and bowling. Right arm over, that's pulled away to the onside, should be out and is. And James Vince goes almost in exactly the same fashion. Expected to bounce that high. But that, you know, they've, they've been bat they've both been batting out there long enough to have worked that out. And they're kind of soft dismissals for me. Yeah, really, I mean, just trying to help it round and things, well, that's, that's on middle and leg. I can pick up four there. Back to them, very quickly has the ball back in his hands. Rossington standing up. That's pulled away in the air, but it'll be safe as it goes down wider. Anderson comes in, runs towards us once more and bowls. Middleton hikes that away on the leg side and that could go all the way. And it has. It's just gone over the rope for six runs. Just clipped that away. And it is. Uh, who have we got here then? Critchley. Critchley. Yeah. That's cut away by Joe Weatherly. Nice shot to back with a point. That might go all the way, actually. <laughs> so moves in and bowls. Short of a length and pulled away down the leg side and given out. Caught behind. And uh, so... The visitors lose their third wicket. Hampshire are 78 for two. Really, again, the batters just aren't quite sure at what pace it comes through and how much it bounces. Weatherly getting a little underneath that one, trying to help that away on the leg side. And Graham Gooch end, formerly the Hayes close end. Nice shot down through mid on, and that'll be four runs. There's very little room for the fielders to. He's back in the Caribbean. Yes. <laughs> There's Benkenstein, pulled away Wee. in the air by Albert, and he's got a lot on it, yes. and that's gone almost to the top tier, five or six rows back over mid-wicket. I didn't think... Moves in now, right arm, leg breaks. Oh, and that's gone hard, high, and should be and is held, which has produced many a good cricketer, many a good cricketer. And, uh, that's light, I think it's fair to say. No, it's not that sort of pitch. We sweep in, big shout for an LBW, and he's gone. To die on a bowler, but it's almost batter, it's almost hip high that time. That's now that's struck on the pads, and that's out. Yeah, so skip before he starts his approach. In and bowls, full delivery again, which turns into a full toss, which is driven very attractively away for four runs to the cover. As Walter comes in again and bowls, Lisa drives hard past Cox along the ground. Well, well to 17 against Kent. Batting well again, aren't they? Oh, that's oh. smacked away by Fuller. And that's six. I think that's six. Yeah. It has. Just between the rope and the boundary boards, over mid-off. So, penultimate over. Ben Allison is in. Bowls a full toss, which is hammered into the bottom tier of the Tom Pierce stand, away to our right, for a maximum. It's gone for six. One other. Just very carefully places the ball in that right hand. In and bowls now is Ben Allison. That is hammered straight down the ground. So here is Ben Allison in again. Bowling to Michael Nisa, and uh, Nisa flips that one up in the air, should be caught just outside the circle. I'm not expecting Fuller to do anything else and try and hit it down the ground. Goes length, and that will be at least four, and it's a flat six over mid-off. Comes in, 155 for seven then, Hampshire. Bowls, there's a short ball, pulled, top edged over the keeper, that'll be four. for seven, there's still four balls left. Put short again, pulled away by Fuller, and that's over mid-wicket for six, ball. Right, here we go. Last ball of the innings, then. Where's this going to go or not go? And follow or oh, doesn't get hold of that. They will run one this time. And Wood jogs through for a single. And the last three balls in complete contrast to the first three. And Hampshire finish on 166 for seven. Wood again to Elgar. Elgar's hit that hard, high and handsomely for four runs. Belts once. Crawley, very much. Oh, and that's lofted hard, high and six. And... Uh, <laughs> Again, Dean Elgar says, what do you mean I can't play one-day cricket or 20-over cricket? So Nisa comes into Rossington once again. And Rossington gets all of that and then some. That's got wings because it's flown out of the ground into the trees over the public stand. For six by Rossington. 
His response is <laughs> to be swung away for six by Rossington. This time behind square, and that one is out of the ground. 27 without loss, and the Australian's been hit for successive sixes. Yeah, there's no mucking around with Rossington. He, uh, he's, he's there for this purpose, whether he's played, played for Middlesex or Northamptonshire or Essex. This is what he does, and the crowds love him. That won't do his mood any better. No. Into Rossington. Rossington swings that one away. Over long on for four. Nisa is in to Rossington, and Rossington hits that one high, high in the air. Should be taken by long off. And it is just tumbling back. It's a good catch, actually, because he went running back, lost sight of the ball, quickly turned round, set himself, and took a really, really good catch. And uh, the fielder had to run backwards and uh, yeah, fell over as he took it. But, uh, yeah, really, really good catch. And, uh, theoretically, you look at those and you think, well, you know, they're professional cricketers. That's what they get paid to do. Um, so turn a right arm over the wicket. Moves in, bowls to uh, Dean Elgar, who paddles that round the corner for a six. Turner into uh, a, a superb straight drive. This game, this version of the game, it's not all about slogging. bowling for Hampshire at the uh, Grand Gooch end. There. As uh, Fuller moves in and bowls, other such drinks oh. available, of course. That's just played out back from the square on the offside from four. As Fuller moves in, bowls to Elgar. Elgar comes down the wicket, flat bats it for four, more or less straight back past the bowler. Oh, no. 20, didn't he? no. He's giving you more, he's giving no. you much more. Oh. 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 oh! Smashed hard at the fielder who drops it. But boy, was that delivery motoring. First game this season. As Wheel comes in and bowls, and Pepper goes up in the air. Now that's gone right over mid on, and that, I think, is out of the ground. Just over the back fence. As uh, Howell moves in again. That's not a two, that's not a four, that is a six straight over the bowler's head. Uh, we can't see the part of the ground there because it's away to our left. Professional cricket of standards probably. Eight, 89 for one, Fuller comes in, Pepper drives hard through extra cover. That may have been half stopped by Benny Howe, but it doesn't matter, it's going for four. Motor in the first five or six. No, he wasn't. Here's Fuller, bowls, and Pepper drives <laughs> in the air, over mid-off. And that is six, and that's hit the top of the stand, just to the right of the sight screen. And that was what one might call, or what I would call, a proper cricket shot. It wasn't that, that long <laughs> way these two are playing. Pepper cuts that away, smashes it away through extra cover. Work to do for Brad Wheel, running round from cover. Won't get there. Here's uh, Wood for short. Now he, now he does go straight, and this could be caught at mid-off. Nisa is under it, and he holds on to it. I'm not sure it was a clean catch, <laughs> but he's, he's got it anyway. He has a smile as he walks back. Yeah, and Pepper, just probably one club short on that one. Good catch, though. He was aiming long on, and it spiralled away. To long on. Runs away from us from this Sir Alistair Cook end. Lights in full effect now, and Elgar just drives majestically straight past the bowler and straight down to the boundary for four runs. Howl into Cox. And Cox swings it away and should pick up four here. Wood to Cox. And Cox hits that. Oh, that's going to be runs. Uh, it's one bounce for four. Oh, on the contrary. Uh, here's uh, a six, I think, over mid-wicket. Start of a new over from John Turner. Jordan Cox smashing that short of a length delivery. Two in the 16th. Dickie Davies alongside me is... That's another pull shot, this will be six more. Just a little further to the right. The boundary a little bit bigger there in the corner. 155 for two, they might have wrapped soon when the Essex confirm a victory. There's four runs, lovely shot through extra cover. As uh, first delivery is all played back to the bowler who gets a hand to it. He does very well to get a hand to it. And uh, it didn't stick, get a win, because on the night they were the better side. Oh, and that's uh, another one, another example is he gets a top edge of the remaining uh, 3.2 deliveries. And there it is, over the top, and it goes for four runs over extra cover, down to the sycamore tree. Essex win comfortably.